So one of the things I really want to teach you better, and again, or for you to just have the faith that it works, mm -hmm. is what I call when what, coming them, bringing them down to the table, letting the system come back down, right? Mm -hmm. Most people want to pick up, but they don't realize the detail. So now all I'm going to do is work. I'm not moving you, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to show you working this whole section here until someone comes in, obviously. But. So I'm just here, sort of like I'm playing a clarinet, so I might put my fingers here, but as you can tell, I'm not, uh, visually it looks like I've got, I'm using my thumbs, but I'm not. It's more like I'm, I'm playing the clarinet from behind kind of thing. Now this is where I can use all my fingers in different tempos. So I'm not doing up, down. Right? I'm doing, right, so, so, top of the right coming down and then over to the left. So you feel how, this is where I always say it's sort of like playing a piano of some sort. So now see how I'm coming up on the right and still letting off on the left. I can go through the middle of my hand, middle. But as you can see with the baby, and that's hopefully what you'll see today, is when they move, the movement here it's always the same up as it is down. Same kind of tempo, same kind of force. So it shouldn't be I go over and then fall. Mm. Right? Now to you, that's not a fall, but to a baby, that'll just take them right down to the ground. Now see, you can feel there where the elbow's catching. That's different than right here. See the difference? Mm. But see, the elbow here wants to glide up, oh. right? But when I go a little bit further and start adjusting the torque, the elbow doesn't want to, what I call, cross midline. So just that little bit, that elbow there doesn't want to cross midline. Now, I know you mm. can throw it like 88 miles an hour right now, so I know the elbow can cross midline. However, in just a resting position, when you're just responding to my stimuli, you really right now should just be able to go boop, 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 you know what I mean? And you're not. Mm -hmm. Or same thing too, it's not that I put you on the table to brag. My point of like, you know, the other day with your vision, why isn't everybody like you? You know what I mean? If it's capable. Mm -hmm. But most people can't handle that level of awareness and they close it down. But it's getting really bad with these damn cell phones. And I, I still stand by my predictions that you're about to see Alzheimer's go through the roof. You think it's funny people are falling into fountains? Well, good lord, they're going to be walking into retirement homes. See, now the difference? Now, I can start talking you through it. So in a sense, your body's trying to respond, but it's still not what I want it to do. But I'm not trying to go, you know, fix it. So now I'm really trying to get in. So now, see, I can go detailed where my right hand's going down, where my left hand's going up. But that's a baby transferring, coming up to sitting. Mm -hmm. So again, when I touch a little baby and I don't feel this within their arm, that's where I'm like, oh, they're not sitting up or they're not. And people go, oh, yeah, well, they're, you know. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm doing here is kind of like this. Oh, okay. Now this kind of move, to me, that's what really affects what they concern is the fashion. However, as you can see when I do that, if I go down, see bone, muscles, sideways stuff is a bit more fascia work, but you gotta work on everything. To say you did a fascia release and, and you didn't do, you know, uh, that's just ignorant. I'm sorry. But that's the first time that elbow. <laughs> and again, you can say I'm doing a different move, but now you see the difference? See, it's still wagging. Yeah. However, same thing what we were talking about yesterday, you should, your eyes should be able to float at this same kind of level. But 
now see again how my fingers are going to, in a sense, drop or bring down that arm. Right? I'm not doing mm. this. See how... Uh, yeah. Now here, there's a little glitch. I went too far. Here, see? Ligament right there in the elbow. See, now the elbow doesn't want to come down here. Now here, <laughs> see the difference? Right? Yeah. Versus here. See? You're like, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> and even with this little bit, your breathing changing. Mm -hmm. Just slightly. So again, could have been from a fall. It could have been from you got hit there. It could have someone grabbed you there, you know, when they took you down. I don't know, and I don't care. Because <laughs> it could be five incidents. You could have been in a car accident and that's where it hit your elbow. I don't, you know what I mean? This is where I'm gonna, see this is where I come in underneath and this is where I work really close with the babies. So like if I'm on Elise, I'm going down her leg. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even though I'm on the pelvis, because I want this to continue to, there we go together. See how I'm not even going down. I'm just enough, and again, just lightly. But this this is the stuff where mm. why I have what I call the golden ticket, because most people would just be in this mode already. Mm -hmm. The more you can do detailed on someone and get into this this kind of stuff, this is where the good stuff happens. But people do a little bit of this, they go, oh, your wrist is looser, or look, you know, look at how nice your shoulder's doing, and then they bop. Which you can do. If you only have one lesson with someone, you can't sit there and do mm -hmm. two days just on an elbow. But see, now I can see where your, your bicep muscles need, need the work going up, right? See, because they don't want to round in mm -hmm. a sense. So here, so if I go up, right, so this is what should be happening here. Yes, and now again, it might just take a couple, ah, uh, right there, see? There, feel the pour, where I say mm -hmm. it's like pouring water. Hmm. But see now, the difference? But you can feel all of those little yeah. catches that are happening. Oh, yeah. And again, you might have one nice mass muscle, but if it's just one strand, you know what I mean? And that's where I think of like those giant puppets or whatever, not uh, puppets, but the balloons on the Macy's Day floats. You know, you got 10 guys, but if one mm -hmm. guy's not, you know. Oh yeah. There we go. And again, bringing down, bringing down, just making sure. But it could be for someone that has carpal tunnel, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. There we go. That, the bouncy, yeah. you still caught it. Mm -hmm. So, again, it went too far. But it's something in that fall that you're like, mm, I don't know. Now, I might have to do something like this. Now, I'm going to, in a sense, be pushing within the crease of the elbow but still to go down. Because I can't mm -hmm. say right here to come down to me, you won't, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I might, there we go. So now the down is also into the clavicles and the shoulder girdle. So I have to be just as equal. See, and that's where it's catching there, mm -hmm. see it? Yeah, just felt the pressure going there. So that's where I might say, okay. Mm -hmm. 
and this is something too, you know, hey, if you're in the mood, just this is what you do and play with Asher for, you know, an hour, or as much as he'll let you. But if you don't think all his little metatarsals in his feet have never felt this sensation, especially like him, Cupcake or whatever is an example, even Aaron, when they're quote toe walkers, however you want to do it. Mm. What people don't see is, to me I look at that as gravity. Not necessarily that they're contracting the foot to go this way, but because they can't go up, gravity is slowly just bringing the foot down. Uh, and so that's okay. what's making it straight. Yeah, yeah. But all these little metatarsals aren't feeling this experience. I see. So when they do go up or down, they feel they have to like go like, like a drawbridge mm -hmm. and lift from that area. And that's where people start stretching, which is the worst. There we go. Mm -hmm. And now I can go back to here. Yes, did I do the move before? Yeah, but at the same time, you're now a different person, so I can get into a whole nother layer of glitches or fine-tuning. Everyone look at it. So see, you can feel that with the shoulder now. Whereas before, I couldn't get past the elbow, no. but now I can. And sometimes I might have to just, and I'll be talking and doing like this, but I still have my eye on the prize, still maintaining the same thing. I can go in, see how my hand didn't change, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then I can come in to see that was better. And that's where, too, it might look like, quote, I'm not paying attention. My, my, my hands know what they're doing. They don't need my mouth or my brains. Mm -hmm. Now, with someone like this, you might have to prop them to do that and then get underneath where they're propped here and still. So now it's the first time I'm lifting the hand off, but I ah, see right there, you caught it. So, yeah. yeah, the elbow below the head. Well, the elbow, but more so the shoulder and the lats. Mm -hmm. Feel it? See, I can't turn the... Oh, uh, okay. Right here, see the difference? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm nice and safe, but up here it's like, uh, I'm not sure, you know what I mean? But this, if this is catching, that's where your pitch is going here and it's catching, mm -hmm. you know, with that rotation. Now again, for some guys at the computer, you know what I mean, like, not that who cares, but they're yeah. not looking to excel their, their bodies, that's a different story. But you start working with these big boys. And especially too if they've done a muscle program since they were young where they rip the muscle and they have that scar tissue because mm -hmm. they think oh I'm bigger I'm ba you know mm -hmm. that's where you, you literally have to sit there and do this kind of stuff it's not that they can't do the fine motor skills they can't find the fine motor skills through all that it's like going through a traffic jam and trying to get to where you need to go so now what I'm doing here, talking about what we did with the foot, is now, see, I'm going up into that elbow, and again, letting the hand come down. Mm. And that's what I've been doing for with Alizé's tush for like a week straight. Because her tush goes this way, but she doesn't know this. See, so, see how you're okay. dropping it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just letting your weight do my job. There we go. Feel a difference all throughout, especially through the sternum? Yeah, that's right, I'm feeling it. So now I'm coming up, now it's sort of blocked, but the reason it's blocked, because your elbow just dropped. Mm, you know, okay. your elbow's not up here or yeah, whatever, yeah. it's already dropping down. So it's just the positioning. It's like when I say okay. when someone's legs bent, like Bruce, he likes to do his legs at 90 degree yeah, angle. Yeah. It's harder to get into the back. But if those guys can't figure it out after like five years of lessons, they can't. Now again, I've twisted, and now I'm coming back down on that rotation. And now I'm coming up the other side, I'm going to try and twist. And come back down on rotation.
feel a difference. Mm -hmm. Right? But see, that's walking. Feel a difference now? So whether this is a wrist or someone's butt, this is what I do. Yeah, that's what I was... You know, I mean, like, this is... See now I can come in, but see imagine again this is not this is what Asher's foot does not get. Mm. Cupcake's foot. And if you look um, like it when Omni was stuff was here when they go towards you know off the table, that's where kids lie on their belly and their feet go down. Oh yeah. yeah. Right? They go down, they see look at now what you're doing a whole range of 